my beauty chameleons welcome back to my channel i am tasha if you're new and if you are welcome in today's video i am going to be using raven beauty cosmetics and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to wear the greens and blue in a more fun wearable look for every day so if you're interested in learning how i created this look stay tuned and keep on watching the tutorial step one prime your eyes Step 2. Apply the shadow. The shadow I'm using from Raven Beauty is called Electric Green and I'm using a MAC 242 brush. Simply pat that shadow onto the lid using dabbing motions to avoid fallout. Continue applying the shadow till you get it all over the entire lid all the way up to the crease portion. Step 3. Apply the second shadow. The shadow I'll be using is Raven Beauty's Infinity Shadow with a Sigma SS219 brush. This is a pencil brush which makes it very easy to apply the colors into the corners of the eye area. As you get the color on, begin to sweep the brush in a windshield washer motion just to outline the area of the eye shadow. Step 4. Let's blend out the crease using a big fluffy dome shaped brush and the brush I will be using is Max 224 brush. Step 5. Continue to blend. Using this technique will take that color that's concentrated at the crease and give you a very gradient finish as you move toward your brow bone areas. I'm just simply grabbing just a little bit more of the shadow to intensify the areas in my crease just so that blue just pops even more. Step 6. Apply your highlight shadow. The shadow I'm using with the 224 brush is the MAC Rider Spring. Simply apply it on the brow bone and lightly overlap it over the blue shadow so that you have a nice gradient finish and you don't have any rough harsh edges. Step 7. Let's define the crease. Using Raven Beauty Cosmetics Carbonite Shadow and also using the Sigma and that brush is the 219, simply take that carbon shadow, which is a matte black, and apply it to the innermost portion of your crease. This will leave the shadow with a little bit more definition. Step 8. Let's line the lower lash line using, again, Raven Beauty Cosmetics Carbon Shadow, and we'll be also using the SS266 brush from Sigma. Simply start in the outer corners and line under the lash line to make the lower lash line appear thicker and fuller. Step 9. Let's accent the lash line with a pop of color using Raven Beauty Cosmetics Electric Green. Let's continue to add another pop of color to the lash line and the shade I will be using is Raven Beauty Cosmetics Infinity Eyeshadow. This will give the eyes a little bit more interest other than just using a black liner. Step 10. Let's line the upper lash line with Berry Essentials Buxom Lash Liner in Leatherette. I love this liner. This liner goes on very smooth and creamy, making it easier for even the very first beginners of using gel liner. Absolutely love it and recommend it to everyone. Continue to line and create your double wing. See, there you go. Now let's add a pop of color using Kat Von D's Liquid Liner and Eyegasm. I'm just simply applying it in between the double wings to add a little bit more interest to this eye look.
Now let's increase the intensity. We are going to be using Raven Beauty Cosmetics Electric Green and we're going to apply it wet over the very first shadow we applied on at the beginning of this tutorial. With this, you can use water, if you use MAC Fix Plus, or anything to create a bold, intense look of this shadow. And you see there, it's nice and bold and still soft for wearing every day. Let's apply those false lashes. The lashes I am using is from Red Cherry Lashes and number 43. Now don't forget to add your mascara and I'm using the fiber wig from Sephora. Simply apply it to your upper lash line on both sides. And then don't forget to do the lower lash line. Final step and I've promised we are going to line the waterline using Stila's Kajal Liner and Onyx. This one also glides on very smooth and easy and leave it with a nice defined eye shape. The look is complete. Now you have bold, beautiful eyes. Okay, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial using Raven Beauty Cosmetics. To finish off this look, I decided to use my new favorite blush, which is the NARS Orgasm. It's kind of a peachy, pinky, golden glow blush. I love this blush, you guys. I just added a little bit to the apples of my cheeks to give myself a little glow. But that was the NARS Orgasm, which I recommend. Almost anybody can wear this, okay? And same thing for the lips. I decided to whip out the NARS Orgasm again. I really, really like this lip color. You can almost wear this with anything. If you want a really grab and go lip color, pretty much any skin tone can wear the NARS Orgasm. Oh, it's upside down lip color. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to use Raven Beauty Cosmetics Mineral Shadows in a wet version and in dry. And if you love something just a little bit more dramatic than this, stay tuned. I will be uploading a video. It's going to be a little bit more dramatic using the similar colors from the colors I showed you in this video, but more of a bold or dramatic style. But anyway, as always, I thank you so much for all coming back to my channel rating, commenting, and subscribing to my videos and watching for more. And rest assured there will be more videos coming up soon. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.